Welcome to the Generation Connect podcast, co-designed with youth for youth. The ITU Generation Connect initiative aims to engage global youth alongside the leaders of today's digital change by empowering youth voices in the digital development dialogue. Tune in every month to listen to inspiring stories of youth all across the world on the power of technology for sustainable development. Get involved by joining our global community of future leaders shaping the world of tomorrow. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Sophia Tzedek, and I am a Generations Connect Youth Envoy. We are live here in Kigali, Rwanda for the Generations Connect Global Youth Summit, the first one to ever happen. Hello, I'm Emanuela from uh, Cote d'Ivoire. I'm Digital Youth Envoy. And please, could you introduce yourself? First of all, it's a pleasure to meet you. I am Ali Al Tablani. I am here representing Bahrain and the Arab Regional Youth Group. And I'm also the ambassador of the American University of Bahrain. Hi, I'm Simran Sahani and I'm from India. I'm the representative of uh, Generation Connect Asia Pacific region. Hello, I'm Franca. I'm 24 years old and I'm part of the European Generation Connect Youth Group. I'm a youth envoy from Europe for the ITU and I'm really, really excited to be here in Kigali from Germany to join the Generation Connect Youth Summit. How are you feeling today? I feel overwhelmed. It's been an amazing day uh, meeting so many young people from around the globe. It's just something that you can't really absorb at first, but it's really exciting to be here and uh, uh, so far it's been great. I'm feeling pretty excited, motivated, inspired actually after meeting all my gender champions fellow, after meeting so many people that are so um, motivated to make a change, especially in the digital world. Ah, uh, I'm feeling very emotional to be honest. It's been two years working on this, working on Generation Connect. It's very, very nice to be able to see everyone in person after two years you know seeing everyone online we got so used to that now it just feels so weird in person but it feels good you know i like to say that every summer you have needs to be the summer of your life but being here feels like having the summer of my life so far my experience has been nothing short of amazing i've met so many change makers and young people eager to change the world and their respective communities What's your, your cause for these three days? I'm here mainly to raise a, a bit of my voice, hopefully to contribute to Connect the Unconnected, which is the theme of this year. And of course, to, to broaden a bit my professional and personal skills. My goal for these few days is to make the most out of it. Obviously, we're here because we have a chance to make a difference. And us as youth, we don't get this chance too often. So in these three days, I will definitely try my best to make the most out of it and make as much difference as possible. I'm most excited or what I really, really hope will happen is that we will have the chance to influence the future of digital policy. So I really hope that this will be impactful and that we as youth from so many countries can work together and bring in our perspective, a youth perspective or perspective for future generations. Yeah, so far, it's good. I like it. Um, one of my favorite sessions so far was the networking session. I got to know a lot of people um, from different walks of life in different fields. So it's been an amazing journey so far. Yeah, Rwanda is beautiful as well. I find it very, uh, the summit here, very informative and um, educative for me personally. And I'm really uh, grateful that I'm here. I think the summit is um, a good opportunity for young people to connect, um, to share experiences, uh, to share ideas, solutions, and for us to realize that we're not very different from one another just because we're from different countries and from different backgrounds and cultures. Um, as young people across the world, we have a collective um, identity in that many of our challenges are the same, and it's only up to us to come up with the solutions for those challenges.
can you please share your favorite moment of today's event? From yesterday, one thing that uh, stood out for me was a statement that the Ministry, uh, the Minister of uh, Youth and Culture for Rwanda, uh, Rwanda government, stated uh, that uh, in order for us to be successful, we have to first uh, uh, think about the people, think of the people, and uh, not to, to profit. My personal personal interest is about bridging the gender digital divide, so making sure that you know, we have more women in tech, more women in STEM, because there is such a growing need for them to be included and to be part so that we make a, a smarter society. So what you do with bringing kids together, no matter the gender, well, that's, that's very important. Give me an E. E. Give me a Q. Q. Give me an S. Unless the people are satisfied, uh, there will be no development uh, happening. But if the people are satisfied with uh, the services, uh, what you provide, uh, then uh, you will see the fruit of it as well. The intergenerational talk that we had, um, I think that was the, the best session that, that I attended for today. They talked a lot about how the youth uh, can leverage opportunities and can leverage the support of the adults and the people who are representing the policy making process, the government and uh, different institutions. Yeah, so far um, I've, I, I've enjoyed every activities they've been having here. Like I've made new connections, I've learned a lot about youth and digital inclusion. I'm looking forward to more sessions. They are going to have a competition too and I'm looking forward to participating in it. I totally enjoyed networking people and like I totally met somebody with my name from another country entirely. Yes, I'm, I'm, I've enjoyed the conversation. Um, I've totally enjoyed the experience and I'm actually looking forward to more sessions and I'm looking forward to networking with more people from and various from around the world basically. I felt very comfortable and I felt heard that there are people higher up the hierarchy, there are more experienced adults that are there uh, and value our voice, value what the youth think um, and they are willing to listen, they are willing to co-create and they are willing to take action from uh, what we have to offer as well. I am here with Miss Heidi, who is a super, super important, but also amazing individual. Um, I don't want to break the ice, so I'm going to let you introduce yourself. Well, thank you very much for that very kind introduction. Uh, I'm Heidi Scuderos Fox, and I work at the UN headquarters in New York, and I head an office that looks after and supports the 91 most vulnerable countries uh, in the world in groupings of least developed countries, landlocked developing countries and small island developing states. And we support them as much as we can on so many issues, connectivity, of course, being one. What we do at the global level is we really advocate to make sure that the issues and the priorities of the least developed countries are in the forefront of the agenda, that the decision makers globally know what they can do to help the countries. And we are there to build partnerships, to make uh, you know, these kind of partnerships that can really support and, and help the least developed countries move forward in uh, achieving the UN Sustainable Development Goals. Thank you so much, Ms. Heidi. Um, I loved that you mentioned youth because that's why that's why we're here. We're here for young people, the inclusion of young people in decision-making spaces. During your session earlier, I was listening with rapt attention and everything you said was amazing. But I love how you also highlighted the work that you're doing in Doha and just getting um, so many young people into spaces that matter and you mentioned how there's going to be a summit and you're sponsoring 92 young people which is a huge number you know a lot of organizations speak about youth inclusion um, but you know they never really just take that extra step and i am absolutely impressed 
astounded and just happy that 92 young people from around the world are going to get that opportunity you know to physically be in a room of power and to just make changes happen and so i just want to ask you're doing all of this work for young people why do you think it is important it is really important to make sure that the the new ideas the power of the youth the enthusiasm uh, comes to the table uh, together with um, the the people who are there already now as decision makers governance is not made for older people yes governance should be for included and I think it was one uh, one participant that was saying that you know we need the ideas and the ways of thinking from the youth, from the people who make this century. And of course, we need elders to guide us. They have wisdom, they have experience. That's great, but we should be much more embedded. Young people's voices matter because we make up about 50% of the global population. In Africa specifically, majority of our population, up to 60% is young people. So it would be almost irrational to have um, discussions, to have decisions where young people's voices are not reflected or where young people's sentiments are not reflected. It will be abnormal um, considering we make up a large uh, portion of our, of our societies and populations. So it's important for young voices to feature um, in those spaces so that we are able um, to make the right decisions that are inclusive of young people's realities. Africa has the highest youth population in the world. You have huge numbers of young people with great ideas. Uh, they need to be involved as much as possible in shaping their future because uh, you young people are the ones who will have to find the solutions to the problems that we have today. <laughs> so we need to make sure that you are engaged and Rwanda has been very active, excellent host. Great to see uh, participation from uh, many, many African countries. So the, the important part, I think, is the togetherness and being all together, working, finding solutions. We will have to deal with a future that is not like the world we're living in right now. We will have to deal with a lot of more challenges and just making us able to think outside the box and allowing us to think outside of structures that we are currently thinking in would really, really help us. One of the speakers talked about how huge the population of youth is um, and how advanced it is when it comes to digital technologies, when it comes to um, experiences in, in, in digital literacy. Um, and I feel like that can be leveraged since we are living in a digital era. Um, and that experience, that exposure, I think can be leveraged a lot. The best way to, to do that is by engaging with us and finding out uh, the respective challenges and then uh, giving us the respective tools that we need to thrive and grow um, in the future. Youth has a lot to offer and already has a lot of knowledge regarding ICTs. Your voices, your views, uh they matter and you are the one who will inherit these issues and opportunities and, and challenges. Yes. So you need to be part of finding those solutions. I need to be part of that. Yes, you, <laughs> you do. Yeah. The voice of the youth matters quite simply because we are the future. We know that there are a lot of projects for the future. IT, ICT is developing very fast but we are the ones who are going to meet all these developments in the future. So that's quite simply why our voice matters the most, I would say. What is that key message that you have for them? Be bold, have courage, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid what other people think about you. Don't be afraid to stand up, have resilience, go out there and explore, ask questions, hold people accountable. And, and really uh, be part of the movement. You are the present, you are the future. And step up, use digital technologies and make a positive change that can help make the world we want. Don't wait for the future. Be present, be hard today.
Thank you for listening to our podcast. You can find all the podcast episodes on the ITU Generation Connect website. And if you don't want to miss an episode, subscribe to us on SoundCloud, Spotify and Apple Podcasts. Thanks again and see you next month for a brand new episode of the Generation Connect podcast. So again, thank you to all of you, the youth here, because this has been an extraordinary experience. Thank you.